So did you ever have a moment where you, one, one moment where you realized there was gender equality in the no, world? No, it was a slow progression, though I do certainly remember being eight and a half months pregnant and trying to pretend like nothing was happening below here. And I think oh. part of it was I just wanted to fit in. We've talked about this a lot and I wanted to be just like one of the guys and show them that my pregnancy wasn't gonna reduce my commitment to hard work. Well, I remember actually being in my first trimester. I was pretty early, so I didn't show so much. And I get sent to New York. And I'm doing like all-nighters because I'm like one of the guys and you know, I'm feeling fine. And I remember the look of horror on the partner's face when we were all done with the project. And somebody else had told them, actually, you know, she's pregnant. It's like, oh my God. I'm fine. Trust me, I'm fine. <laughs> well, because we want to be treated just like everybody else. But on right. the other hand, there are certain things that happen to you when you're pregnant that require you, for example, going to the bathroom all the time. <laughs> and I never wanted to say where I was going. When my daughter was in second grade, I was meeting with Mayor Daly, and I kept looking at my watch. And finally, he looked at me and said, why are you looking at my watch? And I couldn't figure out, should I tell him the truth or not? And I, in a moment of courage, I said, well, sir, the Halloween parade starts in 20 minutes, and we are 25 minutes away. And he said, what are you doing here? And the relief I felt as I blew down Lakeshore Drive in Chicago trying to get to my daughter's school before she realized I wasn't there made me actually so loyal to him. My mom worked, and so I always was used to a working mom, but I always thought I was her first priority. And she had little techniques like always taking my phone call when I called, and I did that for Laura so that I would be present. And I also brought her to work with me on weekends, I wouldn't do anything on a Sunday that didn't, that wasn't child friendly because I wanted her, just as you brought Emma here today, I wanted Laura to see what I did so it would demystify uh, how I spent my day when I wasn't with her. I so acutely realized that I had the resources to do it and it was still hard. So imagine what it's like for those who don't. For those who don't, the low income worker who has no child care is trying to cobble things together. It's so essential, you know, to figure out. Child care. We have got to do 